What's going on guys and welcome back to Mario Party Star Rush. Last time we took on Rhythm Recital and it was probably the best thing that we've taken on in this game so far. Today we're moving on to the next game mode and that my friends is Mario Shuffle and this is played obviously one to two players as you can see on the touch screen and I'm going to be playing it by myself of course. Be first to get to the other side of the board. Strategy is everything. Again I've never played this game mode before so I don't know what to expect. Uh, this is the first time that I'm going to be playing it, but from what it looks like, it actually looks really cool compared to, like, everything else. Like, these don't really look that exciting. I mean, this looks exciting. This doesn't, this doesn't, this doesn't, this does. It looks like Super Mario 3D World and Land and any Mario 3D game that has flagpoles and whatnot. So let's go ahead and jump straight into this. Before we begin, guys, do me a favor and drop a like on this video. Wow, I get to pick some teammates. Okay, I'm going to play is, uh... Well, no, I can't play as Mario. I feel like I've played with him one too many times. Uh, or actually, have I? I don't really remember. Maybe I'll, pl I'll play as Luigi, and then I guess for my team... Wait, he's picking? Okay. Uh, I guess I'll go with Diddy Kong. Don't pick Donkey Kong. And I'll go with Donkey Kong. Yeah, look at that. Luigi, Diddy Kong, and Donkey Kong. Toad, Wario, and Rosalina is what we're going up against. And I wonder if we can pick difficulty or anything. It doesn't look like it. Huh, I wonder why. Okay, so what is this game mode all about? Let's find out. Oh, wow. What the heck? So, I guess I'm starting on... Okay. Uh, play with tutorials turned on. Sure. Okay, so move your three... This looks weird. It reminds me of Amiibo Party in Mario Party 10. Move your three character pieces to the other side of the board. Good luck. They're actually not characters. They're literally pieces, dude. And I got blue team goes first. So that was uh, the, the first... That was, I guess, to go first. The roll to see who goes first. So they rolled a two and a one. Oh, I get it. You see that, man? We got to just, you know, not land on these spaces. So it's pretty much a purely luck-based game. Because you're not... You can never really be too sure how many uh, things you'll move. So let's see. Circle pad. Choose a number. Oh, I get to pick which guys I want to move. One, uh, that goes six that way. Okay. And then he advances three spaces. One, two, three. Okay, perfect. Uh, and then for you, I guess DK will go down here. Luigi, I'm sorry, man. You're gonna have to stay behind. All right, blue team's turn. Here we go. Let's see what they're gonna get. A six and a five. Dang it, man. They rolled pretty high numbers. Toad knows what's up. He's doing exactly what I did. And same thing with the Wario. He's gonna move forward three spaces. We're pretty much almost in the same spot, I'm pretty sure. We're look at that. Beware, landing on this space sends you back to the start. Uh-oh, man. Okay, so passing by a rival will cause you, uh, or will cause it to lose a turn. Landing on the same space as a rival will send it back to the start. Who, the rival or me? I guess they're talking specifically about the rival. But we got a two and a three. Uh, let's see, if he go, yeah, definitely not you. Oh my gosh, dude, we can't do any of these guys. Um, if he goes three, he'll go up that way. Okay, we'll do that. And then for you, Luigi, I guess we'll just go up two spaces. Huh. I wonder if the idea is to get all of the characters there as quickly as possible. Okay, look at that. Oh, man, why did you land on that? And then he's going to make his way over there. They're doing so good. They're, re they're rolling really high numbers. Uh, okay, character loses a turn if knocked over, but he can be used again the following turn. So I can't use him now. I'm forced to use DK and him. Uh, if I advance three spaces, one, two, three. Okay, that's good. So advance three spaces. Oh, but he's going to crush me again. Dang it! And then DK's forced to go that way. They made me go. I didn't even get the option to choose it. Because you have no choice. Oh, dang it, Toad. What's he going to do? Oh, he barely made it. He's almost there. And wow, sent me back to the beginning. Dude, they absolutely crushed me, man. That is crazy. It's based purely around luck. Um, what about you? Can you go? Yes, he can advance three spaces as well. Go ahead, man. Move forward three spaces. Uh, can I use his turn also on him? Oh, I guess I could use DK's turn and then advance three spaces as well. One, two, three. Nice! I may actually end up beating them if I get both of my characters there first. So, two kinds of moves. He's gonna go that way. Dang, he's so close. I wish I could just land on him. No! Blue team won! They got one flagpole. Okay. Okay, the game is not over till it's over. And yes, send her back five spaces, sucker. I guess she had no choice but to do that. All right, my team, uh, or my turn now. I wonder if I could send Toad back. Uh, uh, aha, sucker. 
I mean, he just technically fell. Hey, I did it! See? We did it, guys. We got one flagpole. So, we both made it to the goal. And Donkey Kong's almost all the way there as well. Uh, blue team can't move Toad because I knocked him over. So, I guess she's the only one that can move. Haha, -ha, yes. All right, let's see. I wonder if I could get a couple high rolls. Three and a five. Um, so, if he moves three... He advances three spaces. Yeah, I'll do that. And then knock her over as well. One, two. Ah, yes. And then for you. No, 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 no. He's going to go back two spaces. Okay, that's fine. Because either way, I was going to move him either three or five. That's right. So it doesn't really make a difference. Dude, we are so close. Like, this is a very close game. Toad now made it. And then the next turn, DK is going to make it. And then it's going to be all about Rosalina and Luigi. Which one of the two, whichever one of the two makes it first will win. Um, so let me see. I guess for you, yeah, you only need to move one space, and you got this, my boy. I wonder if going four spaces with Luigi screwed me up. Let's see, four spaces? Yeah, that's not bad, that's over there. I wonder now that we're both down to our last character, do we get to pick the dice that we want to use? Yeah, of course we do. Okay, so she's going to pick the six and go back two. A lot better than, you know, going one space forward. All right, let's see what I get. A four and a five. So, 4 will land me there, 5 will land me on the negative 5 spot. So, obviously, I'm going to go with the 4. Dude, we're, like, pretty much at the same spot. Oh, dang. 4 and a 4. Oh! 1, 2, 3, 4. Oh, dang it. Oh, man. If only she got a 5. 5 and a 5, she would have landed on that thing. So, let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. If I get a 5 or a 4 or a 1, I'm screwed. Oh, dang it. I literally got exactly what I didn't want. So I guess the easiest thing to do would just go five spaces and then go back two. Yep, one, two. All right. How close is she? I can't tell. I think I'm closer to the finish line than she is to her finish line. Oh, dang it. She got a six. Why do they get really good rolls compared to me? I need literally a five or a six or whatever. Oh, I did it. I did it. Yes. Suck on that blue team. And we win! Oh yeah, Team Red wins. So this is not at all what I thought this game mode was going to be. This is completely different. This is pretty much just like a, a game. It's like one of those board games, essentially. It's literally a board game. Except, you know, in a, in a game, like a, 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 an actual game form. You know what I mean? Like a video game form is what I'm trying to say. So we're going to play this again. And then I'm actually going to see if I could switch up the characters. Or maybe not. I guess they don't want me to switch up the characters. We'll see if we can do a better job this time around. We already know the rules. Nope, we don't want to play with tutorials. So let's actually play one last round and see how fast we could do this. Red team goes first now that I understand everything going on here. Um, let's go ahead and roll. I guess the beginning part of this is fun because then you get to like decide how exactly you want to move your characters. So I guess for you, I'll go up three and then for DK, we'll go two. We don't want to risk, you know, Diddy Kong going back to space. That would just be a waste of a dice. Um, anyways, what I was going to say was that the, the positions of like these things actually changed as well. Like, if you look at them, like, 2 was not there, negative 2 was not there, plus 3, I don't recall, was there. So, that's cool that they change them every time. Wait, how did they move three different... Sp what? They had, like, a, th a triple dice or something, man. That's crazy. So, what if you go 6? Uh, yeah. I'm gonna try to get Luigi there as quickly as I can. And then you, if I go 2... Dang it. Either way, I'm still moving back two spaces. Uh, yeah. I probably should have not done that. Like, I, I don't know, man. I was being a little greedy. All right, blue turns turn. Six and one. I wonder what they're going to do. Six all the way up there. Oh, dang, dude. He's my Luigi. That's my Luigi. And she advances three spaces forward. So even if you have an advancement, you're never going to land on a red space. Yeah, they just made it so you don't actually end up doing that whatsoever. Uh, oh, yeah, we're definitely not doing that. You are going to advance three extra spaces. Oh, yeah. One, two, three. Oh, he's with Luigi? That's all it took? That's really all it took? Are you serious? Just six spaces. I went up nine turns in one turn. Nine spaces, I mean, in one turn. Amazing. Oh, dang. I'm going to run him over. Oh, yes. This is perfect. And she's going to advance an extra three spaces. You know, I could actually end up running both of them over. So this is my turn now. Uh, we got four and a four. Okay, let's see. Wait, why did it automatically just choose it for me? Why is it automatically just picking them for me? Oh, we all move four spaces. Ah, sucker. Back to the beginning, Rosalina. Amazing, dude. This is so easy. 
All right, blue turns time. And we knocked Wario over. So technically, the only one that can move would be Toad or... Actually, wait, never mind. Only Wario can't move. I guess not being knocked back doesn't prevent you from going. You still go. Uh, if we go five, we'll be at the end. And boom, suck and knock him over. And then for you, I guess, yes, we'll do that. Since we're already, like, way ahead of Wario anyways. All right, what are they going to get? Three and a three. That means they all advance to three spaces. That's just the uh, that's just the way it goes, you know. Watch, they're all gonna get the advancement, and then where's Toad at? Wait, what? I guess Toad didn't get one. Okay, never mind. So let's see. Do I want to? Yeah, I'll move him. And if I move him four, if I move him six, I'll move him six. There we go. And then I'll move this guy. I'll move this guy four spaces. Dude, we got this, man. I'm gonna just try to get get us all to win at the same time. That would be nice. All right, let's see how far you're going to make it, man. Oh, nice. He advanced three spaces and DK got knocked over. Cool. But I'm telling you, there's no way they're going to win. Like, absolutely not. It's actually impossible for them to win at this point. Let's see. I got to figure out how the placements will go. If I go three, he wins. Oh, yeah. Team Red's first goal. Diddy Kong beat Luigi. It's weird. Luigi was ahead the entire race. And then Team Red also gets the second goal. Almost there. Donkey Kong, you're the last one, my dude. All right. We get two different rolls, and I get to pick one. Um, whatever happens. Actually, no, that was them. Whoa. I was going to say, two would have screwed me up, and five would have screwed me up either way. Good for you, Toad. You made it almost halfway. Because one, two, and then I would have one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I don't want to get a two or a five. We got a six. This is perfect. I just advanced nine spaces, man. One, two, three. I'm one space away from the goal. This is amazing. And a one and a six. Uh, Toad's definitely not going to use the one. Move forward three spaces. If I can beat them before they reach the goal, that would be fantastic. Oh, yeah. Now they're equally even. And there's nothing that they could do because I essentially won. Team Red, third goal. And they've got zero goals. Therefore, I am the better team. Oh, yeah. Congratulations to me. So, that, guys, is Mario Shuffle. And you obviously obtain EXP points. The more you play it, we will need 720 more points to unlock Master Difficulty. We're going to go ahead and return to Plaza. The game mode, it's, it's all right. Like, I wouldn't lie to you guys and say it's, like, super fun because it's definitely not that. But it's interesting, to say the least. Like, it's good that they put lots of, lots of different game modes. So, I mean, you don't have to be tied down just to playing one specific thing. I am kind of bummed out how there isn't, like, an actual party mode. I guess the closest thing you get to party mode is Balloon Bash and, you know, obviously Toad Scramble. But now that we're done with that, guys, the next episode, we're going to be taking on Boo's Block Party, which does not look like any fun at all to me. I don't really like these kinds of games, like the Bejewel, Tetris kind of games, and that's exactly what it looks like. So I'll probably just test it out, and maybe that's it, just to show it off. And then... That challenge tower, which I'm really excited for because it reminds me of Bowser Tower. I don't know if it's going to be anything like Bowser Tower from Island Tour or not, but whatever it is, I'm sure it's fun. So thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Peace out.